guys went over deep. No book bags. Just a guy talking about how he's gonna like buy, I don't know, gold or silver or something. But I tried to call Mommy Cat back and then the CD player got grumpy again. So let's see if we can trailblazer and start playing stuff again. Ah, trailblazer. I'm not sure where a six disc changer. Why are you so grumpy? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're not as fanciful as I thought you were. Come on. I'm trying to like play our song. You're getting a grumpy. Okay, am I just making everyone mad? Trailblazer's mad at me. The boat overheated. Can we just try? Guys talking about buying gold, silver, anything that's worth anything, and like deals and stuff. Okay, it's gonna be seven.
Now I'm going to turn you guys off for a second because somewhere, somewhere, very close by, I think, is a Brumbaugh house. Yep, I'm on Brumbaugh. That I lived on. I lived on one of these, in one of these for about a year. Brumbaugh houses. Okay, that's a Brumbaugh. Brumbaugh, Brumbaugh. Mr. Marty's issues are over here too. Oh, it's this one. That one right there. Ugh, there's a Prius there. Man. Okay, well, I used to live there. And now clearly a Prius lives there. Boo. But there's a Chevy Silverado. So I guess it's okay. Yep, yep. I used to live there. For about a year. Awesome mommy cat was like working her real job as a teacher and then she worked at the cookie shop <laughs> so that she could make enough money to be able to work a job and a half and still going to school because mommy cat is awesome and um oh you know what we'll take a detour to mr marty's house really quick too but yeah mommy cat was awesome what is this a Mason de Torture Turtle House? What is that? I'm so confused. And this road is eroding. What did they turn Mr. Marty's house into? Oh, goodness. What? What? What is this turtle house? Okay, well this used to be a Mr. Marty fishy house. There's another one through the woods. Maybe we'll go over there really quick too. I don't know what this La Mason de Torture the Turtle House is. Oh, and these are like the Peely trees. Okay, well, you guys have signage, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. I'm very confused by what you guys are trying to be over here. I guess when I get to this video, I'll have to look it up and see what's going on. Because I have no idea. I see a mermaid on a house. Let's look at Mr. Marty's other house really quick and then we gotta go back to Poppy's house. Because he had both of these woods. So Mr. Marty had like this brilliant strategy of like, he would buy a house and then he would live in it and then once and then he would like put all his extra monies on it. And like once it was paid off, then he would buy another house and he'd live in it. And he ended up with like a bunch of rental houses and that was like his strategy for re um, retirement and stuff. And then like Katrina totally, totally messed it up. And so then like, because of insurance companies and everything else, like he ended up living out his last days in one of the issues. And I was barely able to see him right before he passed away. Um, and I loved him and missed him so very, very much. And he was just an awesome individual. He was fantastic. <clears throat> he had a lot of stories to tell. And like his memory lives on through me and a bunch of other people because he was just such a phenomenal individual. And then this is the other one, which is Myrtle Road. There's other little issues. I just thought everywhere was like this. When I was growing up, I thought all of, I guess I just assumed all of the country was like happy little happies. And then I found out as I was moving around that it wasn't all happy little happies. And I wanted to be all happy little happies. So this is the other issue that's like in the bamboo trees and stuff. Oh, I passed it up. Oopsie doopsies. Okay, well. Oh look, it's another Silverado. That's not the house. That's a house that I didn't even realize was over there. Is this the issue? Oh, did they clear it so you can see part of the other issues? And I got shot with a BB gun or something over here. But yeah, this is where we would park. It's right there. And then we climb up the thing. So that is the same house. They're just like clearing it out for some reason. And they've built like another structure. 
Oh, and the elephant ears. I love elephant ears. They're so cute. Hello, Mr. Challenger. I see you with your sexy butt. You make me think of that first red Challenger that I got to drive, like when they were still new and stuff from Enterprise. Yeah. And everybody was all like, oh my goodness. How is your wife having that fancy car? Uh, because I worked at a car dealership place. There are jobs for everybody. Everyone has a special interest. And you just have to find what your special interest is. And then like, you just have to like, enjoy it. Just saying, like my special interest has always been minimally vehicles because you know, both my parents individually drove around a bunch. And so like, I don't know, vehicles and families and stuff. I should have probably taken a cat nap. It's so hot and humid here. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Charlie's due for his second nap. And they just throw in a dishwasher out because they probably got a new one. Everybody wants to just throw everything out. Like, are we just turning into a throwaway country? Like, come on. This is ridiculous. Oh, that's cool. What is that? That's cool. I would like to save that, but I don't have space for it. There's a lady in her fanciful heels that she doesn't even know why they make her feel good. I know why they make her feel good. I know lots. Just saying. You know, bunches and bunches of stuff. Or maybe I'm just a cuckoo bird. Either I'm a crazy cat, or I'm a cuckoo bird, or I'm just a mommy cat. Ooh, my friend got hit by a car right here. That made me feel like a horrible, horrible person because like they were complaining. And then I was like, ooh, I wish they had just have something not nice happen to them. And then boom, literally got hit by a car. And then I felt guilty for the rest of like, until now, I still feel guilty that I like thought of something not nice and then it happened. And then I was like, ooh, I'm a horrible, horrible person. I remember every single negative bad thing that I've done, I think, I think I do. Um, don't quote me on that. But like sometimes like, sometimes people make us out to be worse than we are. And sometimes we're just trying really, really hard and we're just really tired and we need a nap. And then like sometimes our big emotions kind of take over and then we just, we don't know what we're doing. And that's just it. There's a daddy cat dog. Hopefully he knows about his book bag, because I feel bad about the book bag thing. Just saying, I do. I feel bad. We're just going to awkwardly stare at each other for a minute. And you guys are going to have to stay in here because you're like totally overheated or tired or something. I don't know. But I have his laptop. Yay! Oh. And he's calling me on this phone. He's like, what is going on? All right, guys. I'm going to end this phone call because, or this, <laughs> whatever this is.